This is Duke University. It is one of my biggest priorities to make sure that the spaces that I'm in are always inclusive, that they're always welcoming and engaging towards people no matter their identity or their previous experience or things like their class, their ability. Those are all things that are sometimes overlooked, but it shouldn't be overlooked. Science is a holistic environment. Who you are should matter because that informs the questions that you ask and I want to make sure that people feel empowered to be in these spaces. So to make people feel empowered, I, I really just turn it over to them. It's more of taking an active listening role instead of assuming what people want. So I make sure that when I'm working with my undergraduate students, I'm listening to what is your learning goal? Where do you want to go? Do you want to go to med school? Do you want to go to graduate school? Do you want to go to law school? And then we can work together to tailor that experience. When I was in undergrad, I actually got turned away, or not turned away, but discouraged from certain things like wearing my natural hair for example and I was told that wearing my natural hair would come across as less professional so I would go to conferences and I would make sure my hair was super straight and pressed or I would never take a headshot with my hair like and it's curly or natural. That's something that I'm really really passionate about now of just showing up in spaces looking how I am because I want people, regardless of how they look, to, to be comfortable in their own skin because that's not something that disqualifies you from being a professional. 